Hey there, make some Pearl Shore coasters with me. Step one, fill the mold with clear resin about one third of the way up. Step two, pop all the air bubbles with a heat gun. Next, we're gonna add the sand. I use two spoonfuls of sand per coaster. I found this was a good amount. You can even get away with one spoonful and I found it easier to pour sand on top rather than mix it with resin beforehand. Here I am just pouring it all in. There's my cat, of course. Now we're gonna mix it together. I use a popsicle stick and kind of swirl it around and kind of pull in the resin from the clear side a little bit into the sand and it helps distribute it even but you also want to be careful to leave a little bit clear on the edge. We're going to pop all of the air bubbles again. Always, always pop air bubbles. Now it's time to add the shell pieces. Here I'm adding just one scoop per coaster. It's actually a little bit hard to get a spoonful of this stuff. It looks easy in fast time. Now we're gonna gently mix to coat the shells with the resin. Time to add the starfish. I always make sure that there are no broken legs on my starfish, otherwise I can't use them. And here we are adding more resin to cover just the starfish and spread out a little bit. You guessed it, we're popping more air bubbles. Here's a close up of the first layer. I love how the starfish just seem to float. Now, once they're cured and I unmolded them, I now have to tape off all the edges of every single coaster. This is because I'm going to add one final layer on top and I don't want to have to sand these. Much easier to just take some tape off. Here we are, I mixed up some more resin and I'm adding just enough to cover the, the top and dome over a little bit. I'm just spreading it out to the edges. You can use your hands, you can use a popsicle stick. I usually prefer using my hands, but I used, I was trying to keep it clean. Here I am, I, I misjudged it, so I'm adding just a little bit more to a few of the coasters, just so it gets all the way to the edges. You wanna make sure that these are actually leveled out, otherwise if there's a slight tilt in it, the resin's gonna slide off. After you pop more air bubbles, it's time to mix your white lace. I use a mix-all white pigment I get from Amazon. Just use a few drops and you don't need much resin for this part. Mix it up. There 
you're gonna use your popsicle stick and drag a little layer, a line on over across your coaster. Be kind of free with this and, you know, make it look like a wave, not just a straight line necessarily. Now, it's time to blow it out with your heat gun. I think I have this on low setting. It might be on high, but you can experiment. few of them needed some more white. I kind of over blew them. I'm just going to go back over and add more. And there you have it. These are still wet, so once they are dried, all you have to do is peel off the tape. It'll come off with a nice edge. You might wanna sand it a little bit on the edges to get any sharp corners. Not that a circle has a corner, but any sharp edges. And there you have it. <laughs>